the walkout at the meeting by more than 30 people was to do with the fact that they were just not being listened to. And as Lyle Munro Jr. said, we have a mandate and we carry a mandate from those regional meetings, those dialogue meetings, and we, we're here to talk about those. But, <clears throat> and they didn't tell them that that's not so. Because at those dialogue meetings, they had five issues that they wanted discussed. <clears throat> and those five issues, I think the delegates thought they were coming here to address. I really believe that that's what they, I, at least I thought they were anyway. That's from me personally. And so I was interested to hear what others around the country were saying about those five points. But then when everybody got there and they got their little parcel of goodies, the Referendum Council's agenda does not talk about those five points at all. Yeah. So when you look at it, none of those five points are mentioned anywhere in that agenda that was put to the people. And unfortunately, uh, when they were talking about, when they opened the conference, <coughs> uh, I was informed, because we weren't in there at that time, um, I was informed that um, they refused people to have any discussions on the agenda. They wouldn't allow them to discuss the agenda. And so when you look at that agenda, those five points that were spoken about at the regional dialogue are not there. So they set a completely new agenda for that conference and said this is a national issue. But the people who came, from what I understand, were expecting to be talking about and sharing their issues, their concerns, their conclusions, on each of those five points that were being discussed at those dialogues in a national forum, yeah? So that they can come up with a consensus on each of those five points. But as it turned out, not so, right? And so the confusion and frustration was that no one was talking about the issues they came there to talk about. They were being, they, they were being railroaded into talking about something very different. And that's why when you look at um, what was going on in those workshops, as I sat through some of them, well, um, Lyle kept trying, Lyle, Lyle Munro kept trying to bring them back to the issues because he kept saying, but I've got a mandate. I'm not here to talk about that. I'm here to talk about what happened at the dialogue. And then when they, I think they cottoned on to Lyle's insistence without telling him that, no, Lyle, that's not what we're talking about here. They didn't tell him that. And that's what he was getting frustrated about. He's getting angry, as were the others, yeah? Because they all went into those other workshops and they were not allowed to talk about their, their uh, you know, their mandate, yeah? And so they didn't have a mandate to come here and talk about those other things. They didn't have a mandate to come here and vote for a constitutional referendum. They didn't have a mandate to come here and vote for a treaty. No, they didn't. They came here with a mandate addressing those five points, right? And that's where it all went wrong. That's where it went wrong. And it's a... Now they're going to present something to Turnbull, who's going to present it to Parliament, and it's a complete misrepresentation of what happened in the dialogue meetings, regional dialogue meetings, and what happened at the national conference. Total misrepresentation. And um, I think we need to somehow get that into the national media yeah, um, to say this is not a true reflection of what that convention was supposed to be. The agenda was completely altered to address other issues other than those five points in those dialogue meetings. So, um, and of course, uh, 
trouble broke out. Yeah, and um, and they had it at Uluru, um, knowing that you know there is traditional customary law governing that place, and so they were playing using old people there to control the more politically astute people and more knowledgeable people so that <clears throat> um, it would be seen to be disrespectful to oppose and to have that debate and debates are normally rowdy because you know we're talking about our lives here we're talking about our children's future our grandchildren's future and of course there's still a lot of pain by many. Like, there were people there from Darwin who were really, really shattered and totally bitter and angry about what was going on. Totally angry, yeah? And um, you only got to look at what they're about to do to the Larrakia up there, what they're trying to do to the Larrakia people, you know? Uh, you know, that's, that's just devastating. Um, so, yeah. There was, a, there was a lot of pain, there was a lot of hurt, a lot of injury occurred there, and um, people went away hurt. And, um, and of course, you know, Noel Pearson and, and their cronies going away gleeful um, to say, yes, we got a mandate, but read the statement, they don't have a mandate at all. No mandate was given to them at all. But,